Mr. Secretary. Mr. Bursar. Hey, did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Clemon Street? Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. Well, that's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. Yeah. Now, how are you going to get your debt plan through? I guess I'm going to finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less. Smile more. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. Now Madison and Jefferson are merciless. Well, hate the sin, love the sinner. Hamilton, I'm sorry Burr, I've gotta go. But decisions are happening over dinner. Two Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room. Diametrically opposed, foes. They emerged with a compromise, having open doors that were previously closed. Bros, the immigrant, emerges with unprecedented financial power, a system he can shape however he wants. The Virginians emerged with a nation's capital. And here's the PS de Resistance. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played. How the sausage gets made We just assume that it happens But no one else was in the room where it happens Thomas claims Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day In distress and disarray Thomas claims Alexander said I have nowhere else to turn And basically begged me to join the fray Thomas claims I approached Madison and said I know you hate him But let's hear what he has to say Thomas claims Well I arranged the meeting I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But no one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one really knows how the parties get to yes. The pieces that are sacrificed in every game of chess. We just assume that it happens. But no one else was in the room where it happens. Meanwhile, Madison is grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee. Meanwhile, Congress is fighting over where to put the capital. For Virginia! It isn't pretty. Then Jefferson approaches with a dinner and invite, and Madison responds with Virginia insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win a victory for the Southerners. In other words, oh ho, a quid pro quo. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Well, I propose the Potomac, and you'll provide him his votes. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No. When else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. My God and God we trust, but we never really know what got discussed. Click boom, then it happened. And no one else was in the room where it happened. Alexander Hamilton. What did he say to you to get you to sell? Alexander Hamilton. Did Washington know about the dinner? Was there presidential pressure to deliver? Alexander Hamilton. Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. Capitol? Because we'll have the banks. We're in the same spot. You got more than you gave. And I wanted what I got. When you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. But you don't get to win unless you play in the game. Oh, you get love for it. You get hate for it. You get nothing if you wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait. God help and forgive me. I want to build something that's gonna outlive me. What do you want, Burr? What do you want, Burr? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what do you fall for? I, I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I, I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I, I want to be the room where it happens. To save the day We don't get a say in what they trade away We dream of a brand new start But we dream in the dark for the most part Dark as a tomb